Hello, everybody. The world is always evolving and constantly going through crazes or trends that some of us would rather forget. Turns out America isn't the only country with weird trends. Some other countries out there having even more weird trends that you simply won't believe were actually a thing. 10 bizarre fashion items that actually took off. Face Kini. First there was the bikini, then the monokini, and now the face kini. Chinese women looking to protect their delicate porcelain skin from the sun donned face kinis in addition to full body suits while on the beach in Quindigo. On the beach in Quindeo. If you want to protect your face from the sun this summer, there's a new terrifying trend in China that might just do the job. The face skinny, which is a bikini for your face, offers full face protection from harmful UV rays. It's becoming particularly popular in Asia, where skin color often represents socioeconomic status. Whiter skin is often associated with wealth and beauty. Fake braces. Most children hate having to wear braces and other orthopedic paraphernalia, striking off on a calendar the days until the dentist removes them. But not in some Southeast Asian countries where teenagers are reportedly wearing fake train tracks glued to their teeth as a symbol of status, wealth, and style, despite the fashion fad being blamed for the death of at least two youngsters. And some teenagers are even fitting them on their own, leading to serious health concerns that the tiny components, which some are made of lead, could become loose and choke the wearer, or even cause poisoning. Pointy boots. We last saw them on court jesters in medieval England, but pointy-toed boots, it seems, are making a major comeback. In Mexico, young men have developed an obsession with the bold footwear. With toes so long, they're curled up in a giant spiral. Cobblers in the farming town of Matula in northeastern Mexico described how a single mystery customer sparked the trend. Young men who couldn't afford a bespoke pair have been using garden hoses to make their own, decorating them with glittery butterflies, stars, flashing lights, and disco balls lensless glasses. The grass is always greener on the other side, to quote the cliché. Those who have glasses don't want them, and those who don't will wear them with no lenses. This is the latest fad in Hong Kong and several other Asian countries. It's common to find people sporting empty plastic frames in a variety of bright colors that match their outfit or their hair. It might confuse you as to why anyone who didn't have to wear glasses would want to, but they seem to have reasons of their own robotic tail. It's common for animals to wag their tails uncontrollably when they get excited, so it wouldn't be great if humans could do it. Oh wait, we don't have tails. Enter the taily, a robotic tail extension created by Shota Ishiwatari. The taily knows when a person is excited by measuring their heart rate using sensors padded along the inside of its belt. Taily wags when a person's heart rate increases and sags when their heart rate drops. Socks with sandals. They say three's a trend. So according to some of this week's biggest fashion events, socks with sandals are a thing. This particular sock and shoe combination is one that the fashion conservative tend to shy away from. But the comeback this year may have this trend infiltrating the masses. Based on fashion's elite having already set the trend in motion, from Kendall Jenner to Valentino to Princess Elizabeth von Thurn, from Kendall Jenner to Valentino to Princess Elizabeth von Thurn and Taxi, the socks with sandals style is touching fashionistas of varying status, and the trickle-down effect is bound to ensure just as spring will turn to summer colored armpit hair. There is a new trend sprouting across America. More specifically, it's a new trend sprouting in women's armpits across the country. Some women, you may have noticed, are growing out their armpit hair and then dyeing it. The origins of the dyed pits trend can be traced to Seattle hairdresser Roxy Hunt. A few years ago, a woman was looking for a playful way to accentuate her co-worker's head of blue hair. She offered to dye the woman's armpit hair the same color. Pollution masks. It's no secret that Beijing in China is really polluted. With smog everywhere, much of the city's population is taken to wearing masks to avoid breathing in harmful contaminants. But that doesn't mean they've had to sacrifice their style. Sure, there are run-of-the-mill stark white ones, but there's plenty of other options implementing designs like animals, patterns, and even designer knockoffs like Louis Vuitton. Yeba teeth. The Japanese trend for crooked snaggle teeth is going from strength to strength. 
Yeba, which translates literally as double tooth, is a dental procedure which sees the upper canines capped either permanently or temporarily, costing hundreds of dollars per tooth. It's a sense of beauty unique to the Japanese, but Yeba can be an attractive feature on women in their teens and 20s. While the trend is certainly a departure from the Western ideal of ruler straight gnashers, concerns were expressed that the procedure demonstrates the sexualization of young girls. Ear pointing. Ear pointing or ear shaping is a practice in which the ear is modified to look like pointy ears that we've seen on fictional characters like Legolas, Link from The Legend of Zelda, and Spock. So in essence, they're pretty popular among hardcore fans of Lord of the Rings and Star Trek. Its rise in popularity is attributed to Arizona-based Steve Howarth, who is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most advanced body modification artist since 1999. It's become popular enough to warrant a mention as a plot point in an episode of Law & Order SVU. That's it for this video, but before you go, tell us which of these fashion trends would you be a part of if it came back? Thanks for watching.